the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, as we gather within this octave of Easter, we again proclaim the mercy and forgiveness that we know in the risen Christ. By name you call us to follow you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You forgive our sin. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You lead us to life eternal. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seen at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast, Kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. We pray for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and to ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded to them, accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bringing the proceeds of the sale and putting them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by Him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
If you were asked to name the five most powerful people in the world today, who would top your list? Joe Biden? Jeff Bezos? Amazon? Kim Kardashian? Oprah? Queen Elizabeth II? Ken Sakai? President of the college? Okay, it's a stretch. <laughs> Think again. Does your name appear anywhere on that list? Now, if you're like me, and probably the majority of the world, when asked to name powerful people, we think immediately of power as worldly influence, or power as wealth, or even popularity. As we celebrate the great 50 days of Easter, the church again reminds us of the power we possess, the power we are bathed in, the power we ourselves are. The community of believers were of one heart and one mind. So Luke recalls that first Christian community in today's first reading that Sister Kathy proclaimed from the Acts of the Apostles. These first families of our faith tried to put into practice the message preached to them. Love one another as I have loved you. This meant sacrifice of self, giving up and giving in, sharing, helping, being available to and for one another. So dramatically portrayed as these first Christians laid their treasure at the feet of the apostles. Here were powerful people. Here were the conquerors. And what's the source of this power? John's first letter proclaims loud and clear, everyone begotten of God conquers the world, and the power that has conquered the world is this faith of ours. This faith of ours. What a gift to know and believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, God's Son, who saves you and me through cross and resurrection. And because of that knowledge, because of that belief, we act different. We respond. We serve. We love. All in Jesus' name. Now that can sound really pithy and high in the sky and beautiful. But we know that isn't easy. We can be, and we are, overwhelmed by the daily living of that challenge. Fear can take hold. We can come, become paralyzed. Apathy, cynicism, apprehension can lock us into our rooms with barred doors and boarded up windows. But this is Easter. Things are different. Our life is changed. 
Jesus Christ is risen. Alleluia. He is here among us and he offers us peace. His peace. Jesus, in this Easter day, grabs us by the shoulders and says, Listen, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. Go out there and be good news. Forgive your enemies. Forgive that troublesome neighbor. Maybe forgive your priest. Forgive your son or your daughter. Forgive yourself. Be my peace. Give my peace to the enslaved, the fearful, the hopeless. The second Sunday of Easter, we hear, peace be with you. All it takes, four little words, words that have made you and me some of the most powerful people in the world. Now, all we have to do is live it. these 50 days of Easter. Let's go out there and be his peace for somebody else. More power to you. Friends, as we celebrate this octave of Easter, we remember that through the Paschal mystery we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. Let us renew the promises of baptism by which we renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at God's right hand? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin? the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sin, keep us by his grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Celebrating God's unending mercy, we speak our petitions with trust and confidence. For the church, local and universal, enlivened by the resurrection, may we know strength and determination in daily living of our faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those electing to public positions of leadership and service, may, be, may they be men and women of integrity, honesty, justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering illness of mind, body, or spirit, may the healing power of the risen Christ comfort and support them in their pain. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are struggling with faith, may they know encouragement and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may our beloved dead be welcomed into God's eternal embrace of mercy. We remember especially this weekend, 
the deceased parents and relatives of Mary and Donald Mayer, Leo P. Smith, Jr., Zachary Powers Alves, on the first anniversary of his death, Manuel S. Medeiros, on the fifth anniversary of his death, David Teru, John Costa, Gerald M. Driscoll, on the 10th anniversary of his death, Mercy Sister Lucille Sociorelli, on the 4th anniversary of her death, Rudy Cummings, Antonio Bettencourt, and Manuel B. Torres. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Generous God, plant your gift of faith ever deeper in our hearts. We pray in Jesus' name, forever and to ever. Amen. Amen.
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broken, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, <clears throat> he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all and graciously grant peace and 
unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. As we are before Christ, we share his peace. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and in our hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May our Almighty God bless you. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia.